previous video we saw how to create this frame in this video let us see how to manage the events now if a component has an associated listener object that knows how to handle a particular type of event the awt framework will then pass an event object corresponding to that for example if this button has an associated listener object that knows how to handle mouse clicks then awt framework will supply an object corresponding to the event in this case it's called action event and passes the same thing to the object that is supposed to hold that or capture that in this case uh, it should be a listener now let us see how to handle that by going to our class adding a class that is supposed to be a listener class and usually it is done by writing an inner class but it is not necessary to be we will see an, another method of doing it later we'll say class my button handler implements action listener the action listener is an interface that has one function and let us add that unimplemented method and let us remove all the unwanted code and uh, this is the function that takes the action event object that is supplied by the awt framework um, let us say for example we'll just put one output statement saying that you clicked a button now we have a listener class and we can create an object of the same let's go to the constructor and we'll create my button handler say handler uh, equals new my button handler so this object has a method that will be invoked automatically by the framework by supplying an action event but the only question is for which button and that is where we register btn ok dot add action listener of handler similarly we say btn close dot add action listener of handler and now let us try to run the same and now as you know both of these buttons have a listener object that when I click on which the framework will supply an event object we're not using that though but you can see that the function gets executed and as you can see that there is a message being printed here and let us go click the close button no matter which button you click that is being executing uh, the function being executed uh, now the only thing is how to uh, uh, how to differentiate between these two and that can be done by identifying which button was clicked the event object that was supplied by the framework has few methods using which you can find out those for example e dot get source tells me or gives me the reference of the button that was clicked so let us say for example I say object obj equals E dot get source now the reason why I'm not accepting or creating a reference of button directly is there can be other type of components that can also be clicked so uh, it's just returning a Java dot lang dot object so we are going to if at all we require we typecast it for example I can say button btn equals button uh, obj most commonly you should check the instance of this or the data type of this by using the instance of operator and then do this but in this case I know that there are only two buttons and only they have the action uh, listener associated so I know that btn now is the button so I can now say here system dot out dot println you clicked plus btn dot get label button for example let us run this and see a message now and it says you clicked say hello button and you clicked close button you can see that there are differences here so let us see how we can handle the appropriate events the other way to do the same thing I may not require this so let us remove and we say here if obj is, a, uh, is the same as btn ok then we need to do something 
else if obj equals to btn close uh, we know what we need to do it's just disposing the frame uh, that is associated with the button the frame gets closed but if the button is ok then I have to read the value from the text box and that can be done by using string probably I'll say here tf value text box value is equals to tf uh, name dot get the text this gives me the text entered and if there is nothing entered I should leave so I can say here if tf value dot trim dot length equals to zero then don't do anything and or give a message else I have to say uh, take the value from that build a message say for example string msg equals hello plus uh, I can say tf value now I'll just display this on the screen mm, msg and otherwise I can say kindly enter a value so I can say here uh, something like a uh, system dot out and kindly enter your name let's run this program and as you can see let us also open up the console because we have a console message let us mm, click this directly it says kindly enter your name and I type here Vinod say hello it says hello Vinod now we may also would be interested to clear this so let us also try the close button disposes no problem there and if after typing the message I would like to say tf name dot set text of blank text so it is getting erased now one last thing as how exactly these messages can be displayed on the frame now in order for this uh, we will follow a very simple approach will create a label called lbl output and make this as the third cell where we have two cells we will make the third one and we say that uh, add p1 add p2 two panels and the third one add lbl output and now we have a message which is of course not initialized i can initialize it here itself new label which is added over there now now that we have a label we can control the text of the label here so I can say lbl dot set text and here I'll say lbl dot set text save it uh, it's actually lbl output dot set text let's copy this and paste here save it let's go and run the program to see if I get the result don't click anything it says kindly enter your name I type my name and I say say hello I get the output